All right, guys, so here we go. Most of you probably already heard that right before the Labor Day holiday weekend, Obama and the ATF enacted two new executive actions that affect guns in this country. Now, I'm briefly going to go over what those executive actions are, but honestly, it's not that important. And honestly, it really doesn't affect that many gun owners. But I also want to talk about why we should still be upset about it and still be concerned. Now, first we have to understand what an executive action is because that does come into play later on in the conversation. Basically, an executive action is something the president does because he's already been granted the power to make certain decisions about certain laws or certain regulations or a department that he controls like the ATF or Department of Justice or whatever uh, has this power. They've already been granted the power to make certain decisions on certain issues and laws and regulations. We, the people, through Congress and through the Senate, granted them this power. Now, what these two uh, executive actions basically boil down to is kind of a reinterpretation on how they look at certain laws and regulations and how they are going to begin enforcing them. But essentially, the important thing to remember here is it's a power that they already have. They didn't have to ask permission. Okay? They didn't even have to tell us about it. All they had to do was do it because it was already their right to do so. So what are these two executive actions? Well. The first one has to do with trusts and NFA items. Essentially what a trust does is it allows you to do two things. It allows you to bypass a local sheriff who may be anti-gun and not want to sign off on your ATF application. You can bypass him by going through a trust and also it allows you to do things like put family members in that trust so that if anything ever happens to you, okay, you can pass that NFA item along to a family member. And of course we're talking about things like suppressors and short barrel rifles and that kind of thing. You still have to go through the background check, you still have to get fingerprinted, you still have to pay $200 for a tax stamp, and you still have to wait six months to a year to get and use that item. Now, this is supposed to be to solve a problem with crime, but keep in mind, since the NFA has been enacted, there has been no record of any legally purchased, legally obtained NFA item ever being used in a crime. Ever. Nobody goes through all that trouble to legally obtain an item just to turn around and use it in a crime. So it's solving a problem that doesn't exist. Now, the other executive action basically has to do with the reimportation of old military surplus firearms. So, if we go to another country and, you know, we fight a war there and we leave firearms there, or let's say we sent firearms to another country to help them fight a war, we used to be able to import those firearms back into the country and sell them as collector's items, okay? Again, this is supposed to be to stop crime, but when was the last time you saw a gangbanger or a mass shooter pull out a 1903 Springfield bolt-action rifle or an M1 Garand to commit a crime or a murder. Again, it's solving a problem that doesn't exist. So, why should we be upset about it? Well, one, it infringes on our Second Amendment rights. And two, we should be upset about it because this is the beginning. This is where it starts. You see, Obama already went up and grandstanded months ago in front of the entire nation and said, we're going to go after assault rifles. We're going to go after 30-round magazines. And he failed. So now he's trying to sneak in the back door. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. He thinks if he can do these little things here and there, things that don't really affect that many gun owners, that he'll be able to get away with it. And if he does get away with it, if he can get away with it without any of us standing up and making our voices heard, then it emboldens him to do something else. Now what happens in six months to a year if he wakes up one day and decides, because again, he already has the power to affect things like importation laws, he decides, well, we're just not going to import any more firearms into this country. If you want to buy a gun, it's got to be made in the USA. What are you going to do then? This is why now is the time to start making videos and make your voices heard. This is why now is the time to contact your congressmen and your senators and have them put political pressure on Obama and have them put political pressure on any of the candidates who want to be the next president. This is why now is the time to not wait for the NRA to do something about it, but make your voices heard. That's why now is the time to get pissed.